Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the reactivity series of metals. Okay, bit of a recap then. You should remember from one of the previous videos that the most reactive metals react violently with acids, as you can see these are the ones on the left here, and they also react with water to make a hydroxide and a hydrogen. Your less reactive metals react slowly with acids and react with steam to make a metal oxide, and again hydrogen gas. And your unreactive metals do not react with either. So what you need to know is why some metals are more reactive than others. You should remember that when a metal reacts, it becomes a cation, so it will lose electrons to get a full outer shell, as you can see here. The more reactive a metal is, the easier it is to become a cation, and the easier it is to lose electrons. So if you have a metal at the top, like calcium, it is more reactive because it loses its electrons easier, it becomes a cation easier. The easier it is to lose electrons, the more reactive it is. Therefore, your less reactive ones, like copper, doesn't lose electrons easily, therefore it is less reactive. Okay, let's have a look at a few questions then. So question one, place the following metals in order of reactivity. So which is the most reactive? Put that first, and then the second most, and then the least. Question two, describe a test to prove that a gas is given off when the metal reacts with both water and acids. So you should know the name of the gas given off now. One mark for that, and then two marks for what is the test for it. Question three, what is the charge of the following metal ions? Sodium, group one, what does it form? Aluminium, group three, and calcium, group two. And then finally, explain why some metals are more reactive than others in terms of their electrons. So think back to what we've just been through in the video, why are some metals more reactive than others? Pause the video, have a go now, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So question one, place the metals in order of reactivity. So the most reactive was your calcium, and then copper, and then silver. If you had that in the correct order, give yourself one mark. Question two, describe a test to prove that a gas is given off. So the first one, any time you react a metal with an acid, you get hydrogen, one mark for that. Lit splint, squeaky pop for your other two marks. What is the charge of the following metal ions? So sodium group one, Na plus, aluminium group three, three plus, and calcium two plus, because it's in group two. And finally, explain why some metals are more reactive than others. More reactive because it's easier to lose electrons, easier to become a cation, and therefore the easier it is to lose an electron, the more reactive the metal. That brings this video to an end. There is a review question for you, which is explain in terms of electrons why sodium will produce more hydrogen gas than copper. So it's very similar to this question here. Have a go at it. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.